you know that Bob the Builder trait? Can't have that shit anymore. <laughs> Captain Save Them All. Can't save them all. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me. And we are reviewing, well, mm, we're not really reviewing the interview with Nick Vale and Marshall. We're talking about a specific portion of the interview that I want to talk about because I didn't care about the rest. Okay. So before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, leave a comment down below, follow me on my socials, all that jazz and come over to the discord. On discord yesterday, we watched the interview together. Guys, I'm getting a new laptop. So the foolishness that we keep going through in these watch parties, it won't last for long, okay? Bear with me, I'm trying. But um, we were watching the interview with Marshall and the cliff notes of everything prior to what I'm about to talk about is that he did clarify that yes, the timeline um, depicted on the show was incorrect. However, we all agree that the timeline is irrelevant. The timeline is literally irrelevant. Jackie's actions were Jackie's actions. Her mind was checked out even before I ending the relationship, okay? It's irrelevant. Jackie has since apologized now that Marshall has cleared things up. So bish, bash, bosh, let's move on. Then we get to the part where Nick asks Marshall, what was it about Jackie that made you want to pursue her? And he says, it's the potential. And so from this point of the interview, I wanted to have a conversation about, I feel like sometimes when, ooh, I might even be doing this right now with this video, but <laughs> maybe I need to impact that myself. I think sometimes when we see other people as projects, there's a thing within ourselves that sees ourselves as better. And I've been seeing that with Marshall and it was further, further emphasized in my mind when I saw some resurfaced tweets, right? And I'm, I'm looking at Marshall and I'm hearing Marshall and I'm like, it might not even be a savior complex. It might be a superiority complex. It's a lot going on with this whole situation. But basically, I'm going to insert the clip where he says he saw potential in Jackie. He thought that he could help her out, elevate her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that was his incentive for keeping the relationship going. This is terrible, but it's, it was the potential. I, I, I saw everything inside of her and I, I could, I saw myself in Jackie, you know, like there was a lot of stuff that I felt like I had worked through that she hadn't quite gotten to that point mm -hmm. that I could be the catalyst yeah. to help her get to that point. Very naive lesson learned people. <laughs> so a lot of people have been talking about Jackie being Marshall's preference and that's why he was putting up with the foolishness because honestly she was putting him through the ringer the ringer and for some reason he would stay 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 we didn't know why or whatever so yesterday somebody sent these screenshots in our discord I did not find these somebody else did I wish I remembered your name I'm so sorry but um Marshall's old tweets were dug up and I want to preface, these old tweets are dated from 2011 to 2014. Marshall and I are the same age. So we were about 15 to 18 in those years. Something like that, right? Safe to say, mindsets tend to change from 18 to 26, 27. However, it seems like there's a theme of trying to save women when it comes to Marshall. So I just want to read these tweets for you guys, okay? I'm going to put them on the screen as well. One tweet says, a group of sad black girls that sit in a damn circle sharing their stories on why men ain't shit. I'll tell you, black females, why? And I, mm, females, story for another day. You walk into a restaurant and what do you see? A white couple, a Hispanic couple, an Asian couple, oh, and a group of black girls. Black girls could care less about our feelings. LOL. Percentage currently married. White women, 51%. Hispanic women, 45%. Black women, 26%. Damn. So then at that time, somebody, uh, somebody tweeted him saying, if you're so disgusted by black women, 
by the black women that you're talking about, then go get yourself a white or Hispanic woman. You seem to admire them. He responded, I admire each and every race. I'm not disgusted with black females either. I'm simply trying to give incentive to do better. So something in us, black, oh, let me, let me finish. Let me, fin let me, let me, let me give you all the full story. Okay. Those tweets have since been deleted. Most of them, not all of them, but most of them have since been deleted. So somebody last month, presumably because they watched the show, went to dig up his tweets and they said, yikes, no, to which he responded, thanks for flagging that for me. I said that back in 2014 when I was a dumb teenager, I got nothing but love for my black queens. Okay, so... The savior complex or the superiority complex, we're, if, if you think one fits better than the other, you can go ahead and, and discuss that in the comments down below. It's like a theme with Marshall. And it's interesting because I think back in the pods as well, how he talked about his dad belittling him majority of his childhood and how he felt like he wasn't good enough. I wonder what had happened from that time to him being an adult that led him to find this self-assuredness so much so that he now wants to reach back and help other women come up in life, want to elevate women, want to push us to do better and be better. We didn't ask for that. We don't want that. We don't need that. And he ain't dating me, so I don't even know why I'm saying we, but the women that you are pursuing, that's not necessary. I don't think. If you feel like in your relationship, your sole purpose there is to elevate somebody, is to see the potential of them and help them flourish to their greatest, um, their greatest heights or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's the relationship that you should be in. I think it's great in relationships to help each other grow, but it seems like the MO of Marshall is let me save you. I know the way. I got you. And that's, that's interesting to me. That is interesting to me. He also says that um, he is currently in a relationship, unfortunately, because of his newfound status, it is complicated. But I kind of agree with Nick in saying, you have to be the one to bite the bullet and say, listen, if I'm not emotionally in a place to navigate notoriety and a new relationship, cut it. Because basically, he said things are a little bit contentious between him and the girlfriend or the one he's dating. I don't know if they're officially in a relationship or something like that. And so because he has a lot of eyes on him now, he needs to take time away. The, with all of this new incoming life or whatever this is, I don't know how to navigate it as me. And I need to take some time to figure myself out because I can't pour into myself right now. So how am I possibly going to pour into a relationship? Does she know that? Yeah, we've we've. So we've, you're not seeing her because that that sounds like some fuckboy shit. No, no, no. We we've we've. It's like we're seeing about, each other, but I need to work on myself. Come on, Nick. Don't label me, bro. I'm just. I, I'm not I'm trying very, to. I'm actually very communicative. But you get what I'm saying, about, though. You get yeah. what I'm saying. I don't know how to be a public figure, if that's the word for it. I don't know how to be that. Um, and it was actually brought to me so. My fraternity brother actually put this in very simple layman's terms for me. And I'm graduating from high school and I'm going to college. And there's all this new experience and, and I have to figure out the campus. I have to figure out where my classes are. I have to know where my dorm is at. And I have to figure that out by myself right now. However, I do believe that, that I am not closing myself off to love. I don't know about y'all. But now every time I see Marshall, if you ever watched the show, if you, yo, if you ever watched the show back in the day, the save -ups, every time I see Marshall now, I think of the save -ums theme song. Listen, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, 
I'd be weary of people who, who come to you. This is now to y'all. This is, this ain't even about Marshall. I'd be weary of people who come to you with the perspective that they can make you better because my initial thought would be, well, why are you coming to me knowing that I'm at a deficit in the first place? That feels like we're unequally yoked. Why would you want to pursue that? Number one. And number two, so then if you do save me, should I be indebted to you now? Oh, thank you for making me a better person. Now I should just stick around here because you did me a favor. I, I don't know. And I, f- I felt that with Marshall because he was doing all these things and because he was pushing Jackie to be a better person and she wasn't taking it for granted. He almost resented her for it. And it's like, well, you should have been doing those things because you wanted to, not because you wanted something in return. And I will also say, this is a little bit close to home because not too long ago, I had somebody who came into my life who was similar age. It's similar to Jackie and Marshall, actually. Similar age as me. He has a a business and whatever, whatever. He had all these accolades that he said that he had. And so when things weren't panning out for us, he said to me, um, he was frustrated with me because he thought I would want to pursue him because he could elevate me. And I'm seeing that and I'm seeing Marshall and I'm just like, yeah, nah, women, men, anybody, be careful of that kind of rhetoric. Elevate you. I saw potential project. Let me help you do better, be better, run, run. In this life, we can all do better. In this life, we can all be better. But that's for me to to decide. That's for me to pursue for myself, you know? And in a relationship, I would hope that that's a mutual pursuit if, if, if that's what we're doing. If we're helping each other grow, cool. It's a mutual endeavor. But for somebody to come with the sole purpose of, of fixing you, mm-mm. I don't like that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, Marshall's interview. Y'all wanted me to talk about it. So here I am talking about it. Not much that I wanted to take away. I just wanted to talk about that point. Um... In regards to the tweets, yes, they are old tweets. So I don't think it's anything to go on a witch hunt about. You know what I mean? Um, this this video isn't even an attempt to cancel him. It's literally just a talking point. So yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts down below of what you've seen in the video, what you saw in the interview. What was your takeaway from that? I know a lot of people didn't like Nick, but I think, um, I think Nick was trying to hold him accountable in the best way that Nick knows how. It's Nick's platform, so he could do it however he wants to, right? Um, But he did give some good advice, regardless of how you feel about Nick. He did give some good advice. I think that Marshall should cut ties with the girl that he's talking to because it's complicated. It's, it's looking like he's trying to eat off of the fame that he's receiving right now, if I'm being honest. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.